If you want to learn the best way to share a PowerPoint presentation in Microsoft Teams, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Tony and this is my channel Ready Steady XR. If you want to learn more about these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell will put you on the right track. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to share your presentation in a Teams meeting. The thing I love about this method is that you can have your chat window alongside your presentation so you can keep an eye on any questions or any raised hands. Okay, are you ready? I know I am. Then let's go. To start sharing content, you simply hover your mouse pointer over the screen and then click this little arrow which says share above it. And if I click, I then get a choice of thumbnails. And what a lot of people do, which works, is that they will share their whole desktop. And when you share your whole, whole desktop, all the attendees can see everything that's on your screen. So here I'm in PowerPoint, I've got the slide deck down the left hand side, and then people can see this. And I've actually seen people run a presentation like this. So rather than starting the slideshow, they would just click through this slide deck here on the left hand side. So it's a bit distracting, it's not overly professional. And if I start my presentation, goes full screen like this, but now Microsoft Teams is covered. And if I want to check the chat messages, maybe there's some chat messages coming in, I would have to click here. I can click on show conversation and I would see the chat here. Presentation still open in the background and everyone in this, in this meeting can see my screen as I see it here and I can minimize this and go back. So it's not a very streamlined approach to doing a meeting, to doing a presentation. So the better way to do it is, let me show you. So if I stop sharing, click share again. And then what I want to look at is the PowerPoint section. So these are PowerPoint presentations that I've used recently. If it's none of those, I just simply click browse. I've got a choice to either pick up a presentation from one that I might have loaded into Teams recently, or I can get one from my OneDrive. But in this example, I'm going to bring in one from my computer. I browse to the file's location. This file will now load into the meeting itself. So it's now going to embed itself into Microsoft Teams. And the great thing about this is, if I click Show Conversation, it will sit nicely alongside my presentation and I can click through it. Now, one thing to bear in mind when sharing a presentation in this way is that your attendees can click through this presentation. So they can go through it at their own pace. So to stop that from happening, you just simply click on this eye. So this prevents private viewing. So for me, this is the more streamlined approach to sharing a presentation. This is the video that I want you to watch next. And this is the video that YouTube wants you to watch next. And if you haven't already, then please click subscribe. I will see you in the next video.